Uh, hello, my name is José Antonio Mechari. I work for Eldorado Institute here in Brazil. And today we are going to present uh, Open Run and SDR, an approach to build the open mobile networks. We have here our agenda for today. And um, this is the abstract for this presentation. Uh, considering Open Run, SDR, virtualization, cloudification, uh, we proposed and we are building an open network lab and we are going to create a 4G and 5G networks in this uh, environment. We are going to operate in mid-wave sub-6 frequencies and using SDR technology, uh, software-defined radio. Uh, for the, the core network, for the software part, we are using open net interface. And then after the first implementation, we are going to migrate to a virtual environment and then to a cloud implementation. Uh, for the hardware part, we are going to use a commercial of the shelf hardware. And as I told you, open air interface. This lab is flexible, is remotely accessible, totally based on software. So we can have the total control about the all main parameters, both core network and, and radio part. And uh, we aim to allow other projects to use this, this lab to develop other uh, applications here in Eldorado, such as uh, edge computing, cellular V2X, IoT, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, among others. Um, this combination of uh, open source software and uh, software defined radio uh, will allow to create a new paradigm uh, it will allow to create uh, a low cost and much more flexible uh, mobile networks. As I told you, we divided this uh, project in three different phases. In the first phase, we are going to install uh, all software in uh desktops and servers um, in the second phase we are going to virtualize this environment using a virtual machine and containers and in the third phase we are going to move this environment to a web-based commercial cloud services now we are in the first phase of this project this is the, 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 the overall architecture. In this architecture, you can see uh, the user equipment, the Wi-Fi access point. And in the first server, we have the IMS core, the DNS, and some others, uh, additional software modules. In the server number two, we are going to have the EPC and this 5GC. Uh, the 4G uh, core and 5G core with these elements here, uh, MME, HSS, uh, and both gateways. And UPF, PCF, SMF, OSF for the, the 4G network. So uh, we have both servers connected to the, the, the SDR. Uh, in the next slides, we are going to present the details about the SDR. And then we have the other uh, user equipment. With this uh, architecture, uh, we are able to install open interface and some other additional modules. And uh, we can exercise at this moment a 5G network and in the future of 5G network. Uh, this architecture will allow us to use uh, a device camped in a 
different uh, ways of uh, uh, networks. So we have here uh, a 5G in a non-standalone uh, configuration. We have 5G in a standalone configuration. We are going to have these both possibilities in our lab. User equipment will be allowed to camp on 5G, 4G, and ENDC mode, uh, dual connectivity mode. Uh, the, the, the left part of the figure shows exactly that situation. User equipment is camped on a G node B. The G node B is connected via uh, X2 interface to a E node B. And both base stations are controlled by EPC, the 4G core network. And in the right side of the figure, you have a standalone situation. When we have a G node B, uh, user equipment, uh, real user equipment, we are not going to use a simulated uh, smartphones. We are going to use uh, real smartphones. This smartphone is camped on a, on a 5G in a standalone mode. So in our lab, we are going to have these both situations. Uh, for the radio, for the hardware uh, part of the lab, uh, as I told you, we are going to have um, Dell servers and desktops, antennas, attenuators, cable, and mainly uh, USRPs from Atos Research. Uh, we are going to operate in a range from 800 megahertz up to 6 gigahertz. So we can emulate both situations, both deployments in dense and rural, rural areas. Uh, for the 4G LTE network, we are going to use a X300 USRP plus a daughter board uh, for antennas, Ferret 900, operating in these frequencies and a lot of the other accessories. And for 5G network, we are going to use a USRP N300 for antennas, different from the, the previous one, operating in these frequencies between 2.4, 2.5, and 4.9, 5.9 gigahertz, and a sort of uh, accessories. And everything is connected using a 10 gigabits uh, Ethernet connections. Uh, this is a widely used uh, USRP in the market. It's a very common hardware, USRP Atos N300. It provides a two by two MIMO up to 100 megahertz of uh, bandwidth. And it can operate between 10 megahertz and six gigahertz. We are going to use these uh, programmable attenuators, antennas, etc. Uh, the other one is the Atos X300, uh, covering from DC to 6 gigahertz and 120 megahertz of uh, bandwidth. Again, you are going to use uh, these Atos antennas and programmable attenuators. Uh, for the software part of the lab, we conduct an ex extensive comparison among all main open source software available in the market. So we compare the next EPC, Open Air Interface, SRS LTE, ORAN SC, Open 5GS, and uh, we use the, the following uh, features or characteristics to compare all of them, provided coverage, current implementation status and roadmap, community and support, installation complexity, available documentation, necessary equipment, and uh, as much as possible, or uh, alliance compliance. So we compared all these uh, implementations and we choose to use open air interface. Uh, as you know, Open Air Interface 4G stack supports uh, the 4G EPC, NodeB, etc. 
And for 5G, we will support uh, 5GC, of course, the core 5G uh, network. In SA, in SA modes, GNODB, UE, and the RIC, et cetera. So open air interface is the, the right choice for us at this moment. Besides the AI, we are going to use um, other necessary modules, like a SIP server is mandatory, uh, MySQL to implement the HSS, uh, to, to have a subscriber database, uh, a VPN server, a monitoring application such as a Wireshark, for instance. So we are going to have additional models working with uh, open air interface. Uh, as I told you, this is an ongoing project. Currently, we are deploying the 5G network. We are starting the commissioning tests and we are going to prepare to a virtualization and cloudification environments, uh, our next steps here. And the most important, uh, we are showing the feasibility to run 4G and possibly 5G networks in a real time on a software defined radio platform. This is our main intention here to show this feasibility. So now we are exercising 4G and then we are going to exercise 5G in this environment. And uh, as of now, we are having good results and uh, we expect to have the same results using 5G also. Uh, this is what we have for today. So in these few minutes, we have to present our project. This is all information we have for today. Uh, if you have uh, uh, questions for us, we are going to have three minutes now to, to clarify some questions. Uh, please feel free to ask me. Thank you. Thank you very much.